Understanding our home planet and extending humanity's reach into the vastness of space, arguably our grandest endeavors. With the fiscal year 2012 budget proposal, NASA will continue to lead a quest to win the future by hoping to protect Earth, uncover distant worlds, and expand the frontiers of technology and science as it helps the nation innovate with an increased investment in research and technology that supports next generation space systems designed to make exploration more capable and affordable. Educate by championing student studies in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics as a way to ensure America's future competitive edge. And build by nurturing new roles for American industries that will create an exciting and vibrant space economy that creates jobs and enhances the way we explore the cosmos. We out innovate, we out educate, and we out build any other agency of our type in the world. We will continue to lead this innovative effort for the nation that returns so much for each tax dollar. NASA continues to embrace its partnership with America's commercial space industry to enable safe, reliable, and cost-effective delivery of crew and cargo to low Earth orbit. It allows NASA to concentrate on accomplishing what no one else can, extending human exploration to new destinations in the solar system. We are taking what we are calling the capability-driven approach which is that we are developing the very first capabilities that we'll need in going beyond low Earth orbit, which includes a space launch system and a multi-purpose crew vehicle. Uh, these are required no matter what destination we go to in the future. This is called a flexible path because uh, with these capabilities, we'll be able to go to multiple destinations, such as back to the moon, to near-Earth objects, to Mars and its moons, and to Lagrange points. Uh, these are all places that we can feasibly go to with people in the, in the foreseeable future. These new cross-cutting technologies, developed by a new generation of the agency's best and brightest, will not only expand NASA's exploration beyond the bounds of Earth's orbit, but will also lead to new achievements by other government and commercial space entities. At NASA, we want to make technology investments because we believe they're important to our future, our future missions in aeronautics, science, and exploration. But in making those investments, we also contribute to everyday life. We're also building the technological capability of our nation. We're therefore contributing to the global competitiveness of this nation. And we're building the workforce that will go after the grand challenges in the next decade. Aligned with the goals of our nation and the scientific community, NASA's robotic spacecraft will continue to probe the solar system, uncover the mysteries that lie beyond, and improve our understanding of Earth and its changing climate. We'll be launching a lot of missions this year to do some great science and unique science. The satellite uh, messenger is going to come around for the third time and pass by Mercury. We're also going to be launching a satellite called Glory to monitor uh, aerosols in our Earth's atmosphere. And then three big launches in the summer and fall. First will be GRAIL, which is a mission to really understand the interior of the moon and what, how it uh, was formed. The second one will be uh, a mission called Juno, which is a mission to orbit the planet Jupiter. And then finally, the really big mission is going to be the Mars Science Laboratory. After an eight or nine month journey, we'll land and then rove around Mars 24-7. The new budget proposal maintains our commitment to humanity's platform in space, the International Space Station, to at least 2020 and possibly beyond. Bringing nations together in a common pursuit of excellence aboard the world's only scientific research laboratory in microgravity. We're running into the last couple shuttle flights that'll put the kind of final touches on space station. We'll carry up the last critical supplies to really get station outfitted. We'll bring up the AMS, which will be a tremendous scientific experiment to allow us to peer back into the, to the past and potentially even see remnants of the Big Bang. So the budget we've got going forward is excellent. It helps us get ready for this next phase of station as we move into full up utilization. In aeronautics, NASA will continue cutting-edge research with a sharp focus on making commercial aviation safer, cleaner, 
and more efficient. Because aviation is one big system, it would be hard enough if we want to do it just one uh, right thing. What uh, NASA Aeronautics is trying to do is trying to find the sweet spot to maximize safety and fuel efficiency at the same time trying to minimize environmental impact. NASA will promote STEM education to develop and inspire the next generation of scientists, technologists, and engineers, and maintain the nation's security and economic well-being. Programs like the NASA Explorer Schools and Summer of Innovation give students a hands-on experiential opportunity to see what a scientist and engineer does, to, to think out of the box, to be curious, to be motivated, to look at their dreams and see how to make their dreams become a reality. Wow, I can be a scientist, wow, I can be an engineer, wow, I can develop the next rocket ship that takes us to Mars. The things and the programs that we have at NASA will ignite that curiosity in the mind of a child. With the 2012 budget proposal, NASA will continue to pioneer space exploration, scientific discovery, and aeronautics research. It is responsible, affordable, sustainable, and achievable. I look forward to the days ahead when we actually do uh, send people out to, to these places to touch them and, and set foot on them and discover things we don't even have a clue of. With this budget, NASA will encourage more students to pursue educational paths in science and technology, to build our technological future, and to create those missions that this agency was built to accomplish. These are difficult budget times, but we really appreciate the support the administration has shown, Earth and Space Science. That support continues. The discoveries, the uh, wonderful things that we get from station are just really unknown at this point, but we've got good sound research plans, we've got good strong products in place. This budget fully supports those. It strongly endorses the need for uh, quality and preeminent uh, aeronautics R&D for the country. The President's budget is going to allow us to do really great things in NASA education this year and we're truly excited to be able to inspire that next generation of explorers. NASA is all about investing in the future. This budget puts us on a path to be able to do just that. There's only been one nation, only one agency that put humans on another heavenly body. We did it back in the 60s and 70s and we will do it again. This is NASA's promise to reach for new heights and reveal the unknown so that what we do and learn will benefit all humankind. <laughs>